And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. After the coldest day of the month yesterday, we started to warm back up today and we will really warm up tomorrow. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend once again. We're going to be looking at highs in the 60s to around 70 degrees. That's ahead of a cold front. Behind the cold front, we will cool down into the upper 40s on Friday. That's still above normal. And then we'll see lower 50s on Saturday before some 60s return once again on Sunday. Right now, after highs around 60 earlier this afternoon, we are looking at a mixture of 40s and 50s across the area. Still 54 degrees in the Marinette Menominee area. We've got 50 in Sturgeon Bay, and we're looking at 49 degrees in Wapaka. Currently in Green Bay, it is 52 with clear skies and southwest winds at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Those southwest winds will continue throughout the night and actually increase increase as we head towards tomorrow morning. It is 48 degrees right now in Appleton. We had a few high clouds across the area today, so you're not going to find any precipitation on Storm Shield radar. High pressure is our main weather maker. It is now shifting to the south. Now, yesterday it was west of us, so we had a northerly flow. But with it dropping to the south, the clockwise flow around it is now producing a west to southwest wind flow across the central and northern part of the country. And that means once again we're seeing a huge Huge warm up. Temperatures across the central and northern plains today, making it all the way up into the 70s. Even in International Falls, the ice box of the nation, the high temperature was 65 degrees today, and that's the warmth that's going to be overspreading the Badger State as we head through tomorrow. So, obviously, tomorrow is going to be above normal. It'll be the 14th straight day with above normal high temperatures. I'm forecasting mid to upper 60s. For most of us, but a few lower 70s are possible west of the Fox Valley in those normally warmer spots. The record high tomorrow is 64 degrees. It looks like we will break that. That warm weather is going to come in on a gusty westerly wind as we move through tomorrow afternoon. Then a cold front pushes in from the west. Behind that cold front, our winds will start to the turn, uh, start to turn to the north and west. And that means after some warm weather on Thursday, we are going to cool down a bit on Friday. Friday, but once again, out to the west, look at this. The warm weather pushing all the way up into central Canada. That will then shift east towards the Great Lakes as we move into this upcoming weekend. So your forecast for tonight calls for fair skies. It's not going to be as chilly as last night. Overnight lows will be right around 40 degrees. Tomorrow, windy and warm, lots of sunshine with near or record warmth across just about the entire area. Temperatures will be in the 60s. Once again, a few spots could exceed 70 north and west of the Fox Valley. Then the cold front moves through much cooler on Friday, 48 degrees. But once again, that's still above normal. The normal high is 45. We'll see 52 on Saturday after the coldest morning of the fall. Widespread 20s. Lower 60s return on Sunday with lots of sunshine. Then another system moves through that's going to cool us down just a little bit. Highs in the 50s to around 60 degrees as we move through the first half of next week. Maybe a shower on Tuesday. Besides that, just lots of sunshine. And warm temperatures. It's and just warm temperatures. unreal. Yeah, I know. There's really no end in sight. Okay. Maybe a cool down by next weekend, just in time for the Green Bay Holiday Parade. <laughs> I know we'll be outside. <laughs> Which is for always that. freezing cold, it right? It happens every year. <laughs> well, with the warm weather, it is hard to believe.